Hello, good evening. How are you? Uh, no tengo fondo. Mm -hmm. How are you today? Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine. Voy manejando, que son unos 15, 20 minutos estoy llegando. Ok. Así que ya, ya le aviso cuando me reincorporo. Bueno. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, hello. Oh, oh, hola, y estoy en las mismas, el compañero. <ríe> On the way. On the way, ya yo creo que unos 20 minutos estoy en la casa hoy, pero igual siempre ahí me voy a estar poniendo atención. Okay. Y cuando no es necesario, me, me voy a una gasolinera en el si hay en el camino y me pongo ahí a, a hacer los ejercicios ahí con los, con los compañeros. Ok. A tratar. Ok, okay bueno. Bueno, te... Vamos a ver. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. Hmm. Rebecca. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you today? Hi. Hi. Bueno, class number four, uh, 24. <laughs> 14, I see. No, class number 24. Let's see, Adriana Maria. No. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Teacher, puedo regresar en unos 20 minutos en lo que duermo mi hijo. Ana. Ana, Ana. Cruz Antonio. Cruz. David. Present teacher. Eddie Jonathan. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio, no. Esa Cristina. Present. Félix Enrique. Grace Michelle. Mm -hmm. Grace, no here, ¿verdad? Ivo Marcela. Jennifer. 
José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe. Mauricio. Mauricio. No. Ok. Bueno. ¿Mm? Present teacher. Teacher, I'm here. Mauricio. Me digo Mauricio y me oí otros presents por ahí. A ver, Adriana María no here. Ana either. Cruz. Yes, present, I am present. teacher. Present teacher and here, Cruz. Ok. Elmer Fabricio. Eh, Mario. Mario, Mario. Ana, trata de estar completa la clase de ahora y la clase de mañana que su asistencia está demasiado baja. Oye, ¿me escuchó? No, entendí. Ay, ¿Cómo que no entendió? No escuché bien, disculpe. Que trate de estar hoy las dos horas y mañana, Leo, porque su asistencia está demasiado baja. Gracias, teacher. Para que así, por lo menos lo de hoy y mañana, algo hagan. El Mer Fabricio, no here. Mario. 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 Ok. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe Claudia, Claudia Mauricio no, Vaya, ok Igual Rebeca, no me vaya a faltar mañana Que anda muy bajita de asistencia. Oh, Hay que alcanzar hasta los últimos minutos Que se puede Ok Ok, teacher Ok, bueno, Claudita, activeme ese micrófono. Un día le funciona. Sí, el... Voy en el tráfico ahorita. Ah, ah va. Okay. ok. Vaya, pues. Ok, bueno. Eh, ready for our class number 24. 24. Today, we are talking about. Double negatives. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Double negation, that's what we are going to be talking about. To learn how to avoid double negatives. That's very, very, very common, you know, that sometimes we tend to use one word that has a negative connotation and we use it with a don't or doesn't, right? So that makes a double negation, okay? So we're going to be talking about that today. Well, remember yesterday we were discussing these questions. What is the best way to get customers' attention towards your product? How would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? And we have a last question today. What brands can you remember of the following products? Coffee, milk, soda, beans, rice, toothpaste, sugar, 
dishwashing detergent, soup, juice, oatmeal, matches, TVs, cars, motorcycles, etc. I'm going to send you in pairs. No, I'm going to send you um, in groups better, right? So you go discuss with your partner the questions, memory, uh, memorize or remember what we were talking about yesterday and discuss the new one. Let's see, we're going to make groups of four. Hopefully. Okay. Well, let's let's go. Hey, Yvonne, hello. Bye. Uh, let's discuss the questions. There you go. Hi, teacher. Hi. Se acordó de nosotros los mortales. Vaya, join the group. Join, join. Join. And discuss the questions. I'm going to paste them in the chat. Okay. Uh -huh. Laudito. Jennifer, join. Uh, it's a discussion, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. Number one, what is the best way to get customers' attention towards your product? <laughs> Teacher, can you please uh, tell me what is towards? In direction two. Ah, okay. Uh, I think in the number one, the best way is um, in this moment, uh, social media. Because um, it might get people attention and a mind position, I guess. I don't know if, if that is the, the right phrase. But um, if the people uh, see most times um, our product in social media, uh, maybe when they need it, it will remember. Mm -hmm. And... Number two, how will you, you define in inefficient and effective? Discounts, only discounts. Uh, yes, uh, discount. 
uh, maybe a uh, Uh, use use different um uh, communication channel maybe what repeat please uh, communication channel o sea como diferentes canales de comunicación para uh -huh. para um, para mostrar el producto oh. Um, second, how would you define an effective and effective effective ways to increase awareness? Mm. Maybe ineffective, but oh, advertising, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Ineffective. Mm. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but what do you know? In in effect, maybe uh, don't manipulate the product. I don't know. Mm -hmm. In effective. Uh, in effective. Mm. In effective. Uh -huh. oh. que en efectivo aplica teacher aplica esto lo que mencionó ayer de ¿qué era lo último de lo infográfico algo así que mencionó no mm. but the infographic is only a way of making advertising mm. right So remember there what you're asking, or what you need to get is effective ways to increase awareness. That is only one example of advertising. So what else can you do? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's difficult. No, no es difícil porque me quiero acordar de ayer. <laughs> oh, maybe a uh, good effective ways is advertising in social media. Mm. In influencers, mm -hmm. um, what else? Um, what other things can you do? Mm. Advertising, ya lo dijimos. Social media. Podcasts. 
Yes. Then that's all. Only four. Yes. Yes. Okay. The next. Coca Cola, Pepsi, La Cascada. I have only three. And Bicola. Bicola. I think it's brown. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm not sure. Beans. What? Beans. Ah, beans. Beans. De oro. Pomoa. Pomoa. En Gumarsal. Ah. I have never heard the Gumarsal. Gumarsal. Dani, Dani, I think, or Super Selectors. Ah, Dani. Okay. Dani. And Suli, in a, in Maxi Despensa. What more? San Francisco? San Francisco, yes. Have a, have a beans, yeah. Yes, beans and rice. Uh -huh. San, uh, San Francisco and I don't remember. Only that. Only that. Only that. Okay. Rice. Rice. San Francisco. Too. Rice. Um, maybe maybe the same of the beans. Yes. Omoa. Teacher, what what's the the brand of the rice you? you the say? one I told you, Pulido. Huh? Pulido. Pulido. <laughs> Pulido. 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 I never remember this. <laughs> en super selectos. Oh, okay. That's from super selectos. And it's very good. I had two pounds of San Pedro. Ah, yeah. ah San Pedro. The pulido, and they are exactly the same. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. You know Arroz San Pedro, right? Arroz San Pedro, San Francisco, they are very good. And the mm -hmm. pulido is exactly the same. The only difference is that San Pedro is almost four dollars, the four pounds, and pulido is two dollars. That's the only difference. That's the price. But the quality, the quality is the same. Yeah. It's I don't I don't know where it is from. I have no idea if it is from El Salvador or where it is from, but it's very good. Mm -hmm. I know from a difference in the rice, in the in the right and in the white rice. I ah, know. Uh -huh. yes, yes, uh, an American. Uh -huh. American rice. Uh -huh. But the white rice, I I think it's the same for the or the brands? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so too. But there are some that are smaller than others. Oh, uh, it's a the gram. The uh huh. It is a one is bigger than than others. There are some that are big. Could be, could be. But the precocido is the same. The same. Yes. Only the price is the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the price. <laughs> the which is more expensive. You yeah. know what? The last time I bought the uh, beans, I guess they eat it done. And it's good. It is very good. Uh, it's done. Yeah, Danny. I used to buy frijol rojo de seda. And Danny, it's mm -hmm. very good. It's small. It's small. 
it seems like it is Salvadorian. <laughs> I don't know what it is from, but it is it is a small. I've seen it toward the Mala, Dani. I don't know. Um, the, but it is a support import for El Salvador. Import to Salvador, the, the brand. Uh -huh, probably. But they are they're pretty good. They are pretty good. Okay, let's see the next. What do you have after beans? No, after rice. Toothpaste. Okay. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Colgate. Mm -hmm. I prefer colgate. Crest. Okay. Colgate white, luminous white. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if you want really white teeth. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Tensoring. Okay. Or sensodine, I don't know. Pepstint. I remember that. And wow. Hello. Did you finish here? Hola, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. we finished. Yeah. Yeah. We all number three, two. Yeah. yeah, okay. Let's go Anna, it's in the dark. Anna, Anna. <laughs> You're in the dark. A little bit kind of. <laughs> Don't see me, I'm in the dark. Okay, let's see. Basha. What is the best way to get customer's attention toward your product? What did you mention? Mm -hmm. yes. Maybe it getting promotion for the customers. Okay. Mm -hmm. How would you define ineffective ways to increase awareness? Ineffective. Mm hmm. In effect, don't, be, don't don't be clear in your uh, delivery in your message, and don't do a advertising uh, long, uh -huh. not short. Remember, people want to know, right? That the only thing, the only way they can get to know you is that you announce yourself. What would be an effective way to increase awareness? Mm -hmm. Effective. Yes, yes. Rosie? Maybe a good publicity teacher. Uh -huh. What would be a good you mention details about the product? For example, is if food I explain the content, the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a, a medicine or is the content the, the no sé cómo se dice, pero las proporciones de, de medicamentos. Oh, okay. That's if you're talking about medicine, right? Yes. It's, if it's medicine, detail the content the, of the product. That, percent pharmaceutical. Exactly. I guess that is necessary in everything, right? Because sometimes people, uh, before consuming a product, they are looking for the content, what? 
the product contains. If they are not allergic to it, if, if the things that the product contain are not bad for their health. So people now are looking for all the things that you can contain, that the products can contain, yeah? Even in very simple things. So that has become very, very common. Okay, well, number three, we're not going to check it. We were already discussing and just refreshing your mind, right? Now, we have a conversation here. Pay attention to the structure used, right? Olivia and Leo are brainstorming ideas about branding for Olivia's online business. Uh, read the conversation and take turns practicing it. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I do know nothing about branding or marketing. Do you mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week. And fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know it makes, but you know, it makes it look original. Do you mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, if you notice the structure, use here, you say, I don't know, that's double negation. Because you're using don't know, and then you're using nothing, right? You should say, I don't know anything, yeah? Instead of never notice nothing, because never is negative, and nothing is negative, you have a double negative, you should use you never noticed anything, okay? And in case, if you want to use nothing, you can say, I know nothing. That would be correct. Uh, I know nothing. So, if no is affirmative, I have no problem with using nothing, right? But this is affirmative. If you use don't know, that we it should be a, anything. I don't know anything, but I know nothing. I never remember anything. I remember nothing, if you want to use nothing, right? But nothing is useful, negative, negative things. Okay, check. We were talking about negative A or double negation. We say that if I say I don't know nothing, that means I do know something, right? So you, uh, when you use a double negation, you are... Desnegant, <laughs> right? So you say, no, no, I don't know nothing. That means, uh -huh. so you know something, right? That would be the meaning that you are try that you're transmitting in this case. So check. There is a contrast, right? We don't publish nothing. If you say we don't publish, that's negative already. But if then you use nothing, you're using a double negation. So you should say, we don't publish anything. Yes. The company didn't get no additional. It should be, the company didn't get any additional sales. The experts 
never said nothing. Remember, never. Even if you see the word never, like if it were affirmative, never is negative. The experts never said nothing. Mm, no. It should say the expert never said anything. Yeah. Uh, when we are talking, for example, if you say, hmm, I didn't see anybody, right? I didn't go anywhere. Because if you say, I didn't see nobody, you are the same, making a double negation. Yes? I'm going to add a page here, so we make a couple of sentences together before we go for more examples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By check. So we say, if you want to use a, espérenme que no hay donde ponerlos. Aquí lo voy a poner. I'm moving, I'm moving you. Bye, check. If we say, for example, let's see, this is my favorite for this case. We are going to make sentences, remember. I'm mentioning, right? I'm mentioning that no, all the words that are negative, that have a, that are using negative are no, that means no alone, right? I have no money, uh -huh. but you cannot say I don't have no money, right? No, nobody. If you're talking about a person, it should be nobody. Nobody, no one. Yes. Oh, no one, right? Eh, nothing. If you're talking about things, nowhere. I didn't go nowhere. That's the same. That's a double negation. Never, teacher. Never, thank you, thank you, never. They are double negation. So if I use these words, I should use them this way because of course, sometimes we want to use them, right? But no problem. If we use them, it's okay. But we have to be careful with the way of using them. So if you say, let's see. I, I saw nobody. I saw nobody I knew. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. I saw nobody I knew at the party. Yes. I saw nobody I knew at the party. What happens with so? I have it in affirmative. Le estoy compartiendo la página donde sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, so you say, I saw nobody I knew at the party. Or if you want to use the sentence in negative, you will say, I didn't see anybody I knew at the party. Yes, I didn't see anybody I knew. So all the people that was at the party were people that I didn't know at all, right? I went nowhere after class. Yeah? So, okay, where did you after class? Novia? I went nowhere. It was too late. Right? I went nowhere. I went to sleep. 
Or you say, I didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I didn't go anywhere, so check. My verb will be affirmative because I'm using no and no is negative. So as I already have the negation here, my verb has to be in affirmative, right? But if I want to use a negative, I will, I will use the verb, or I will use, sorry, the other word that I'm using, like, I'm going to use it with any. Any is a, what we always use whenever we want to talk about a negative, right? I don't have any money, I have no money. So if we want to use no, right? I have no money, check. I have no money, that and, and I have no time either. ¿Se acuerdan de la palabra either? Sí, ¿qué significa either? What is either? Como tampoco. Tampoco, exactly. I have no time and I have no money. I have no money and I have no time either. O sea, no tiene nada, ni pisto ni tiempo. Right? But then you can use the negative and you say, I don't have it. I don't have it. Any, ya no voy a decir no. I don't have any money. And I don't have any time at all. Mm -hmm. So check. Ida. <laughs> okay, so we have negative, right? And, and no. So you can use no. Check, you use nobody, no one, nothing, nowhere. That no plus a noun. I have no milk in my refrigerator. I have no coffee in my kitchen. Right? I have no books on my table. <laughs> I put them somewhere. Sure. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't have uh, coffee. It's a thing. Hmm? Don't have coffee. It's a thing. Yeah. Mire coloqueando ahora. I can't believe. I can't either. Pero me ha atacado la colitis. Es que no way. I know, I know, I know. For me, the best drink is coffee, but not for today, until tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> maybe tomorrow, but not today. Mm -hmm. So what about, if you saw already the examples in the manual with nothing, right? So you say, hey, don't tell her anything. But you cannot say, don't tell her nothing, because that's not possible. Don't tell her nothing is the double negation. So if somebody tells her, hey, don't tell her nothing, that means, hey, tell her something. <laughs> because se contradice una negation a la otra, right? So you cannot use double negation. So be careful with that. So instead of no in this case, I'm going to use in. I don't have any money and I don't have any time. Remember that any time we use negative, we are going to use any. Any, you can use it with countable and non-countable nouns, so no problem. As I told you, I have no books on my table today. I have no books on my table. 
I have a notebook. I have my pens, a folder, but I have no books. The books are over there, right? I have no books, but I don't have any books, right? I don't have any books on my table. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if we're talking about countable or uncountable nouns. I don't know, questions? No questions? Mm -hmm. okay. If I want to use uh, nothing, for example, uh -huh. and I, I say, I don't have nothing. That is the double. Double negation. But uh, I can I can say I have nothing. I have nothing. Yes. I have nothing. I have nothing. Or I don't have anything. Exactly. Ah, okay. You tell me, teacher, you have my my candies, for example, and I say. I have nothing, right? I have nothing, or oh, I don't have anything, yeah? So that is, a, if no, if you say I don't have nothing, you're making a double negation. Mm -hmm. And that's something that, that we avoid. And that's why I put all these words to you here, because we can make a negation, with all of them, like no, nobody, no one, nothing, nowhere. You know, se me ocurrió otra. I think those are the only ones. <laughs> but you, if you use no, that is negative. So if that is already negative, I cannot put the verb in negative because then that will be a double negation. Yeah. But if you put it, if you want to use a negative, you use it like this, right? We use anywhere instead of nowhere. Anybody instead of nobody. Anything instead of nothing. Yeah. Any other question here? Mm -hmm. No question. No, no. No, teacher, no question. Thank you. <laughs> okay, vaya pues. Look at this. Now I'm going to send you to work in the conversation, the conversation that we left behind. This one, right? Because as after you practice the conversation, you will go correct these mistakes. In, I'm going to share them with you because in the manual you have only two, but here you have some more, right? So what you're going to do is first read the conversation with your partner, practice the conversation, check the vocabulary, check pronunciation, and then you correct the mistakes. Number one, I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake. She never mentioned nothing about that. He didn't do nothing to fix his situation. They didn't do nothing to deserve this. She didn't write nothing on her notebook. He doesn't cook nothing for lunch. <laughs> and they said they never saw nothing strange in the neighbor. Okay, so Let's go. I'm going to make smaller groups. I don't know if everybody is um, at home already. Well, I'm going to make 10 groups for the moment. If you're not there, just let me. Yes, so teacher. You're already home, Eddie. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sophie, I imagine, is here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if Alfredo is at home already. No. Okay. Well, let's go. I'm going to paste the exercise in the chat. Oi. 
So join the group. Vamos a ver. Copy, copy. Ay, no. There you go. Join. Join, join, join. No, teacher, I think I am alone. Hey, Jennifer, Jennifer, hello. <laughs> My daughter, Nancy. her name is Jennifer. Hi, it's the same. <laughs> hello, teacher. Sorry, teacher, but I, I am in an exam the, to the college, to the university. No, I'm just hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I know, I know nothing about branding or marketing. Did you read the comment? Okay. Niños? Hi, teacher. Yeah. Teacher? Ah. Did you read the conversation? Oh, Did first the, uh, the conversation. Ah, uh, okay. Sí, 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 digo yo. Es la de... Ajá, just, just quickly. Okay, teacher. Ahorita la buscamos porque estamos desde el celular los dos. Ah, ¿quiere que la... ¿Quién se la paso? Hombre, si nos hace el favor, hombre. Si nos hace el favor, sí. Vaya, es ok. I'm pasting it in the chat. Pasión. Mm -hmm. Next time. In the chat, eh, Mauricio. Okay. They are. So, so maybe nobody's in charge about it. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe to Olivia's sentence. Híjole, ¿para qué pregunté? <laughs> I, I, put, I, I put more sentences in the chat, Rosy. Ok, dice. Mm -hmm. Vaya, ¿para qué siguen preguntando? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, aquí, está, aquí están. Eh, esta creo que son las... Mm, quiero ver. Es, la primera es la conversation. La, me imagino que es la que está en cuadro verde, ¿verdad? Yes, esa. I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Uh -huh. Yeah, the first two are from the manual and the others are others. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Aquí está. In a number four. Number four. Number three. And number four. <laughs> no, three, three or four. Three. 
three. She never she never mentioned it. Nothing about that. She never mentioned mentioned anything about that. It didn't perform. It didn't do anything. Ahorita la, la segunda que creo que es de cambiarle todos los notes for anything y no sé verbo en pasado hay que ponerla en, en verbo presente ok Okay, now I, I suddenly my microphone stopped working. Aha, uh -huh. tell me, uh, Felix. Okay, the first one for me is. I don't know anything about branding or mark or marketing. Mm -hmm. All, all the eight. The eight sentences have to be changed. But I heard you something about changing from past to present. No, no, no. We're not talking about that. What you check what you checking is that the sentences are not in double negation, Felix. Pero bueno, en los ejercicios que usted había dejado cuando estaba en pasado y se cambiaba la oración, se dejaba normal el verbo. No. No, no. No, 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 no. no. We're talking about using double negation. Let me check. Okay. I, uh -huh. so I saw nobody. But check. Because you have the auxiliary is in past. So the sentence is in past. Right? The sentence is in past. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I put the auxiliary in past because I cannot say I didn't went. That's not possible. Mm -hmm. Right? But if you see, if the sentence is in present, it continues in present. If the sentence is in past, like in this case, it continues in past. Okay, okay. Huh? So what you have to check here is, for example, if you say, I don't know nothing, you cannot say I don't know nothing, right? You have to say I don't know anything. Because what you're watching is that you do not use a double negation. Yeah? Entonces, <laughs> well, for me, the all eight sentences only change anything. Or nothing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's easy. <laughs> it's very basic. Basic, basic because you are super pro teacher. Hi, come on. Basic because this is a very simple thing. You have made more complicated things. This is very, very easy. Okay. You need one, you need two. The points were more difficult. Teacher. Okay, I will try.
Vamos a ver. You are number key. What number? Oh, six. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Victor está por allí. Victor is driving. I'm here. Yes, I'm driving yet. Oh, but you are talking with Rebecca, o oh, pobrecita Rebecca, la moví sigue sola. <laughs> yes. It's lost. Ay, Rebecca. Is driving. <laughs> Victor is driving. He didn't do nothing to fix his situation. He didn't. Also, I, I I guess that we need to practice the conversation, isn't it? Yes, yes, Aaron, we, Aaron, we. If we, if you want, we can match the answer. Okay, please. The first one. I don't know anything about branding or marketing. I don't know. Yes, I don't know anything. Uh -huh. Okay. The second, I, I did. I never noticed anything about that spelling mistake. I never noticed anything. I never noticed anything. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. About that spelling. Okay. Yes. Number three, she never mentioned anything about us. Yes. Okay. Okay. And four, four. he didn't he didn't do anything to fix his situation. His situation. Yes. Number five, they didn't do anything to deserve this. Yes. Okay. Number six, your turn. <laughs> she didn't write anything on her notebook. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I put the same. <laughs> she didn't do anything. Anything to deserve this. Okay. Number seven, she doesn't cook anything for lunch. Yes. It's the same. And the last one. The last one. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me see how many. Okay, just a couple of minutes. Let's see. I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. What is the correction there? I don't know anything about branding or marketing. Yes, exactly. Uy. But before we check, let's check the attendance. Vamos a ver. 
Eh, Adriana María. Present teacher. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie Jonathan. Present. Elmer Fabricio. Elsa Cristina. Present. Felix. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Ivonne Marcela. Ivonne. Present teacher. Jennifer. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Alberto. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. I'm here. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Victor Manuel. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Mauricio. Uki Duki. Mauricio. Mauricio, Mauricio. Se perdió. Mauricio, hello, hello, hello. Present teacher. <ríe> ya se me había dormido, ¿verdad? Ajá. It's the last days. No, it's not the last day. The last day is tomorrow. Why? Tomorrow, because you had a day off when it was raining. Remember Teacher, when, when we get the um, the source, uh -huh. the encuesta. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ah, thank you for reminding me, Mauricio, by a checking. I remember, but this day we get the link. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. By a checking. Les mandaron, me imagino que ya se los mandaron, ¿verdad? No, for me no. Ah, mejor que no se los hayan mandado. Nadie a mí sí. <ríe> Vaya, chicos. ¿Quién conoce a Mauricio, chicos? Sí, me va a adelantar, pero no lo mandaron. Vaya, cheque. Mañana, mañana vamos a, a, a empezar con con el llenado, vamos a hacer mejor dicho, el llenado, la encuesta aunque ustedes hayan recibido el link, enseño, yo no sé mm, cheque el correo cheque en spam bueno, a mí la verdad no lo he visto pero creo que tampoco ¿verdad? Ay, me estoy metiendo otro correo so eh, cheque no sé no, no, a mí tampoco, no me ha caído. Pero... Me imagino que lo van a mandar mañana, si no, ya vamos a preguntar. Eh, revisen en Span, ¿verdad? Como si ustedes son nuevos y si acaban de entrar, es probable que allí en Junk o en Span, en correos no deseados o algo, pueda que esté. ¿Verdad? Entonces, tengo una revisadita antes. Si por cualquier cosa usted sigue con que no lo recibió, mañana, bueno, yo les hago llegar los datos, pero hasta el momento yo aún no lo he recibido. Entonces, no tengo tampoco ni el número de todo lo que hay que, que pasarles, pero... En el transcurso del día de mañana, porque mañana se llena, ¿verdad? Eh, lo vamos a conseguir. Entonces, solo una cosa, no llenen el, eh, la encuesta solos, ¿verdad? Eso es algo que, que se llena juntos. Entonces, 
se llena aquí en clase y tenemos a alguien de inglés corporativo monitoreando, ¿verdad? Que se está llenando la encuesta correctamente. Luego ustedes eh, vamos paso a paso, ¿verdad? Nos vamos corriendo. Ya los que están aquí ya ahí a ratito ya se pueden el, eh, el cómo funciona. Entonces, el mambo. El mambo, o sea, el mambo número cinco. Entonces, ponemos entonces la teacher no nos deja ir al baño entonces no, pone... no nos deja comer ni sí. nos deja el carro entonces allí mañana verdad mañana juntos llenamos eso no se vayan a adelantar ustedes a llenarlo que ah como ya me llegó entonces lo lleno y no solamente búsquelo para verlo ese es un documento que se llena una vez nada más una, si usted tiene ganas de llenar algo porque está ahí medio desocupadito, vaya a llenarme la tarea de la plataforma, <risa> ¿verdad? Porque yo mañana recono, estás temprano y como mañana es, es que, mañana es miércoles, ¿verdad? Entonces termine, si puede terminar hoy mucho que mejor, así yo mañana por la tarde recojo eso. Si no, si usted mañana todavía no ha terminado eh, a la hora que yo ande recogiendo, cheque. Yo voy a recoger notas en la tarde. Ya de hecho hay la gente que ya completó plataforma, ya le recogí todo. What time, teacher? Yo recojo notas, la última revisión. La doy mañana al solo colgar el último que se va del one on one, bye bye, y si no se queda nadie, al solo terminar clase a las 10 y 10, empiezo a recoger notas. ¿Verdad? Y ahí en lo que se convierte el video de Zoom al ratito, a las 10 y media, a lo mucho, doy una revisadita más de plataforma. El jueves por la mañana. Yo ya no reviso plataforma porque me voy a trabajar temprano. Entonces, asegúrense que si usted me debe alguna cosa de, de, de lo anterior, que mañana a las 10 y 10, usted está nítido y completo. ¿Verdad? Con unidad 4 y exacto. No traiciona, ¿Mm? El que avisa no traiciona. Oh, sí, y se lo vengo diciendo desde el primer día. Así es que chequen, asegúrense que mañana a las 10 y 10 su plataforma está completita con todo. Unidad 1, 2, 3, 4, midterm exam y final exam. ¿Verdad? Porque yo vengo mañana a las 10 y 10, doy la última revisada. Bueno, a las 10 y media doy la última revisada, porque a las 10 y 10 te recojo los que estaban ahí pendientes. Y a las diez y media doy la última revisada y papá, ¿verdad? Entonces, el que a las diez y media no esté, allí quedo, ¿verdad? Y se me va con, con lo que tenga, con lo que me tire la plataforma. Si la plataforma me, tire, me tira a cero, cero le pongo. Si la plataforma me tira a veinticinco, veinticinco le pongo. Porque yo... El jueves tempranito, o sea, yo me voy ¿verdad? a trabajar y a las 8 de la mañana que ellos revisan ya el listado completo, asistencia y todo, eh, lo que no esté, o sea, lo, yo no puedo dejar huecos. Porque por cuestiones de ética no puedo ir a abrir cuestiones de un trabajo a otro, ¿verdad? Entonces, como en la mañana trabajo en otra institución, allá yo no toco nada de inglés corporativo. Entonces, así como aquí, cuando estoy con ustedes, tampoco toco nada de allá. Entonces, eh, eh, es cuestión de ética mía profesional, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo necesito que si usted se ha trazado, tiene toda la noche de ahora y todo el día de mañana, para ponerse al día, ya saben, a las 10 y 10 mañana, yo recojo notas, 
Si le quedó alguna cosita, a las diez y media doy la última revisadita y ya lo dejo nítido. Mi lista ya completa, ya para que solo entren, la recojan y, y ya. Pa, reporte para Insafor, ¿verdad? Completo. Oye, así es que estamos. ¿Quiénes me deben? Nadie me debe, va que todo está al día. Vamos a ver si terminé la asistencia, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah, teacher. Yo, yo le debo, teacher. Vaya. La asistencia. Ah, no los he llamado a todos todavía. A ver, ¿por dónde me quedé? A mí me falta la última, que es la que no hemos visto, teacher. ¿El qué? No, que si ya, que si terminé de pasar lista. <risa> no, es que estaba preguntando quiénes le deben también. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Vaya, no, allí tienen todo el, la noche y todo el día mañana, ¿verdad? Porque así, este, al solo terminar, fíjense que no terminé de pasar lista. A ver, José Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Es el teacher. Es el... Mario, <ríe> Mario, no, Hello. Nubia, ah. present teacher, Rebeca, present teacher, Rosy, present teacher, Sor. Claudia Guadalupe, y Mauricio, present teacher, like present, Acha. Entonces, ahí estamos. Cheque, si, si usted me debe, échele el último ojito. Y ya, ¿verdad? Y terminan con... Y se pagan, teacher, hasta las malas miradas. Oh, sí. Teacher. ¿Sí? Did you check my, my, my attendance? Sí, lo llamé, pero... Oh. Y esto. Ok. Ay, Luis, sí, ya lo vi que ahí está. Vaya, ah. Vale, okay. Vaya, y Claudita no me dijo present tampoco. No sé si. Sí, es... teacher, present. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. Le dije. <ríe> no me dijo, me dijo. <ríe> vaya, pues. Vaya, let's check, your, let's check the sentences. I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Can you say I don't know nothing? No, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake. Mm -hmm. I never noticed anything about that spelling mistake. Exactly. I never, I never noticed anything. She never mentioned nothing about that. She never mentioned anything about that. Mm -hmm. Es verdad que suena raro. <laughs> <laughs> In Spanish, you say, no me dijo nada, ¿verdad? Pero porque en Spanish, nada es como que usted diga anything. O como que usted dice nothing. Pero allá si usted no puede decir, me dijo nada. But in English, yes. Mm -hmm. In English, you say, he told me nothing. Or he didn't say anything. Yeah. But he didn't do nothing to fix his situation. Mm -hmm. He didn't do nothing. Is that okay? He, he didn't. didn't do anything? Mm -hmm. He didn't do anything to fix his situation. They didn't do nothing to deserve this. They didn't do anything, anything. to deserve this. Mm -hmm. She didn't write nothing on her notebook. She didn't write 
Anything on her book. Anything on her book. On her, In, on her notebook. He doesn't cook nothing for lunch. He doesn't cook anything. Anything, anything for lunch. Mm -hmm. They said ne they said they never saw nothing strange in the neighborhood. They never saw anything. Anything strange. Okay. Vamos a ver. Bye. Look at this. Look at these sentences. Let's do it together, right? They never said nothing about coming to my house. Change it. You can uh, change the sentences in different ways. For example, here, I don't have no time. You can say I don't have time. Or I have no time, right? You have different ways of correcting the same sentence. I have no time. Do you have time? Do you have time? Yes. I have no time. I have no time. Or I don't have any time. Yes. Questions? No question. Okay, right, let's correct the sentence system. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to see the sentences. Teacher, and excuse me. Tell me, Anna. Number two, I don't have no time to discuss this no further. No tengo tiempo de estar discutiendo más, no más, no, no entiendo. Excuse me. Where are you? In number two, I don't have no time to discuss this no further. Uh -huh. Al final, they have a ne ne uh, negation, but uh -huh. I, I don't understand the meaning. O sea, how do you understand the whole meaning? Correct it, and then you will understand it. That's what, yeah. that's what happens. When, when people make those double negations, the sentence a complete sense so complicated to understand because it has no sense, right? As it has no sense, it's very hard to understand. A ver, what is the correction that we have to do there? Check. I don't have. I don't have. I don't have time to discuss this anymore. To me. To discuss this further. Uh, mm -hmm. The thing is that you have here a triple negation. Then if you try to understand the sentence that way, it has no logic at all, right? That's why it becomes very hard to understand because it has no sense. What do you think about it? I don't have time to discuss this further. O sea, más allá, right? You were discussing about it already, but no more, no further, right? Mm -hmm. Novia, you have a question. Yes, teacher, in the number four. Mm -hmm. Uh, how the structure for the sentences? They didn't find no nothing. No nothing. That's a triple negation. They didn't no, no. find any nothing in there. No. You omit this no and you change this no. Anything. Uh, exactly. ah. And then you say they didn't find anything in there. Or they have, they found nothing. If you want to use nothing, right? 
They found nothing in there. Mm -hmm. And what about the first one? How would you correct that one? They never said nothing about coming to my house tonight. They, they ne never say anything. Exactly. They never said anything. Uh -huh. They never said anything about coming to my house tonight. And what about number three? I don't need any money from you. I don't need no money from you or... I don't need money for you. Which sounds stronger for you? I need no money from you or I don't need any money from you. ¿Cuál les parece así como? I don't need any money. I don't need any money. Okay. I don't... It's more common. Yeah. Pero ¿cuál es suena más fuerte? No money. I need no money from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give like this, more emphasis, right, to the negation. Vaya, what about number five? They see, did they never say nothing about no money? Oh my God. Uh-huh. No sense, Anna, no sense, because it has four negations. Can you correct it? Bessie didn't never say nothing about no money. Bessie never said, never say anything about money. Oh, but if we leave never, we have to change the verb. So we can omit never. Ah, but Bessie didn't say anything about no money. Didn't say I. Didn't say anything. Uh, anything about money. What would be the correct change here if we don't want to use no? Bessie didn't. Any money. Exactly. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. The mouse in here. Uh huh. So you say, Bessie didn't say anything about any money. Yeah. Bessie didn't say anything about any money. O sea, no dijo nada. Sobre ningún dinero. So, and that's why sometimes nothing becomes a problem, right? Because if you have nothing and you have anything, anything can mean algo, pero también puede significar nada, depending on, on the context. Did you hear anything? Oíste algo? No dice oíste nada, right? But it, that is in the question. Anything is algo. But in the answer, anything can be nothing. So they, it can have the same meaning as nothing. Yeah? ¿Escuchaste algo? ¿Sobre algún dinero? Right, in a question. Pero, no, Bessie no escuchó nada sobre ningún dinero. Then you see, the same anything can be, can mean algo o can mean nada, right? O ningún. Mm -hmm. Is that clear for you? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, Tony didn't come to no meeting this week. Mm -hmm. Tony. Tony didn't come to any meeting this week. Exactly. 
Tony didn't come to any meeting this week. Or you can perfectly say, Tony came to no meeting this week. And the meaning is the same, right? A ver, number six, they never answered no questions about this. They never answer any question about this. Mm -hmm. They never answer any question. Oh, they answer no questions about this. Okay. That's another way of using that structure. Number eight, she did they never say nothing about changing jobs. She did they never say nothing. She didn't never say anything. Will you use she didn't never? Is that possible? To say she didn't never, never say anything about changing jobs without didn't. Ah, okay. She never said it. we have to change the verb then. Right? because the meaning of the sentence is in past. She never said anything about changing jobs. She never said anything about changing jobs. What about number nine? She didn't care about nothing but herself. She didn't care about any but herself. Anything. Right? She didn't care. She didn't care about anything but herself. Or she cared about nothing but herself. But as I told you, if you nothing sounds still stronger, right? She cared about nothing but herself, yeah? Oh, she didn't care about anything but herself. Now, let's see the last one. Sorry, you didn't win nothing. You wasted your time and money. Sorry? You win anything. You win anything or you didn't win anything? You didn't win anything. You didn't win anything. Mm -hmm. Or you won nothing. Nothing. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. She didn't win anything. Oh, sorry, you didn't win anything. You wasted time or money. Or oh, you won nothing. Yeah. You waste your time and money. Any questions here? No question. I have a question, teacher. Tell me, Eddie. For example, in number uh, eight, uh, is correct to say uh, uh, she didn't uh, say anything? She, to see. Ah, okay. In, in this case, uh, there are two options to write it. They are three options. Ah, okay. You can okay. see, she didn't say anything about changing jobs. She never, she never said anything about changing jobs or she said nothing about changing jobs. So you have three options, right? Ah, okay, thank you, teacher. Teacher, have a question. Tell me, Anne. Uh, in number seven, yeah. Where is the double negative? In never, no. Ah, uh, exactly. Uh, so you say they never answer questions about this, or they never answer no, or they answer no questions about this. Uh -huh. It doesn't okay. matter which you eliminate, right? But you should eliminate. Uh, mm -hmm. This will be my question. It's not important what is the word that we oh. don't use. 
but we we can use both. Exactly. Okay. Like in the examples I gave you here, right? So you say, I saw nobody. I saw nobody I knew at the party. Oh, I didn't see anybody I knew at the party. Right? So it's okay. It doesn't matter. But the thing is that you can use a negative verb with a negative word. Right? That is double negation. Y el double negation termina contradiciéndose y diciendo lo opuesto a lo que quiere decir. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to be very careful. Any question? Any other question there? No? No, no. Vaya, look at this. No. I have more for you. But we will do something here. Or we will do nothing. No, verdad. <laughs> we will, but what is the difference if I tell you we will do something or we will do nothing? Hmm? <coughs> if I tell you we will do something and vamos a hacer algo, pero we will do nothing is man, no vamos a hacer nada, right? Buy a check. I'm going to send you to the rooms here. Um, we have, uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to give you about six minutes. But check. Do the two things. Jack, did they hear nothing about that? Or Jack hear nothing about that? Let's break it. By a check this. Um, I'm going to eliminate half. So if we say Jack, Jack didn't hear nothing about that trip. Let's change color. Then you say, Jack heard. Or nothing about that. Mm -hmm. And neither did I. Ahí hay otra double negation. Ya la vieron, ¿verdad? Jack didn't hear anything. And the other way will be. Jack didn't. hear anything about that. And I, and neither did I. <laughs> eh, je, je, pereme, neither did I, si está bien. Jack didn't hear anything about that, and neither did I. O oh, vamos a cambiarle, and I didn't either. Para que se acuerden de esto, que esto ya lo vimos. Jack heard nothing about that. Corrigiéndolo, right? Jack didn't hear nothing. I cannot say didn't hear nothing. So you say Jack heard nothing about that. And neither did I. Neither. I cannot use double negation. If I want to use neither, I have to use the verb in present, right? So neither, neither did I, no didn't. But Jack didn't hear anything about that and I didn't either. Aquí, independientemente podría ser and I neither, and neither did I, right? No problem. But I'm putting the other option because I want you to see 
that you can say neither did I or I didn't either and the two are okay. Yeah. But but you cannot say neither did I deny or I didn't neither. Eso si no se puede. Okay. Vaya, let's do another one. Let's do one more. Acá la señora Betty. Check. Betty doesn't touch nothing that hasn't been washed before. How would you correct Betty? Betty touched nothing. Betty touches, touches nothing that hasn't been washed. washed. Oh. Betty doesn't touch anything. That hasn't been washed before. ¿Por qué no cambio esa última parte? ¿Mm? Why? ¿Por qué no le quito el hasn't been? Porque esa es la de has been and hasn't been. It, uh -huh. it, doesn't, it, it is not a negation. It is a... I don't remember the name, but you teach us. Present perfect. Affirmative. No, es negativo, pero ya no se está refiriendo oh. a Betty, sino que al, a las cosas, right? Entonces ya yo digo, Betty, no da nada que no haya sido lavado antes. ¿Sí? No toca nada que no haya sido lavado. Si yo le quito el hacen perdería el sentido de la oración porque ya sería como que Betty no toca nada que haya sido lavado right so I cannot take that part and that hasn't doesn't affect the double negation of the other exercise yeah any question there hmm no question no Vaya, as we do not have much time, I'm going to send you in groups and we're going to divide the number of sentences that we have. We have nine sentences. I'm going to make three groups. Three groups, so you will do three sentences each. I already did the first two. So one group does three and the other group does three. Okay, so those will be very big groups, right? I'm going to make only three. By a group number one, you do questions three, four, five. A group two, you make six, seven, eight. And group three, you do the last three, 19, 11. Okay? Four minutes, and then I call you for you to come and share your sentences. There we go. Ah, se la voy a mandar al chat, ¿verdad? Right. Ahí está. Let's go now. Let's go.
Petrum. Mm -hmm. How many are we? Eight, no, seven. Mm -hmm. I guess six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh huh, seven. But, but you have like about three people. <laughs> Rebeca Cruz Anibón Adriana María, no sé José Alfredo is, is driving Bye. You have the first three sentences Ok, teacher Three, four, and five mm -hmm. Exactly Ok No, I want to do it One, two, three. Two, three. Hello. Hello. Nice. Yes. Yes. Three, four, and five because one and two, it's. Ya la hice yo. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Okay. Ahorita voy a ver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. No, no son esta repetición. No. No. The last ones because uh, we just didn't hear nothing. None of my children don't understand mathematics. None of my children don't under, understand anything mathematics. None of my children don't understand. Anything about, about mathematics. And no, in the says. We couldn't answer, answer any question, any in questions test. in the test. Mm -hmm. Instead, no, it is any. She couldn't answer any question. Mm -hmm. any question. Ah, okay, gracias. Sí, que es, aquí sí me está costando un poco. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, you just uh, know. Uh, you don't you don't have to use a double negation and just uh, for sentence or ne negative question you have to use any or anything wow. uh, <laughs> for example number six is a negative <laughs> sentence that's why you have to use anything or any. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And the other one, she never said nothing. She never said anything. Uh, there, there, there is a positive uh, sentence. And positive sentence, mm -hmm. you, you don't, you don't 
have to use um, nothing or w or w w uh, negative or ne negative negation negation that's why you said any and you never said no 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 i me confundí you never said anything anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have a, a double and uh, we or oh, they answer no question, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, number 10. Number what? Number 10, right? Yes. yes. There is a time. There isn't enough time. There isn't. There is. There is. There is. No, no, sí, verdad. Y ese viene. Sí. There isn't no Enough. time for gossip. Es gossip. Gossip. Chambre. Chambre. That's gossip. Lo que más te gusta hacer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Chime. <laughs> Ah, el que te gusta, Rose. Ay, de machi. Okay. There isn't enough. Or there isn't time for gossip. They? There. 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 Ay, perdón. La de que ahorita estaban poniendo atención. <laughs> There is a there is a time for the ship. Oh, there is an enough time. There is some time for gossip. For rose. Let's get to work now. Mm -hmm. Okay, number 11. Mm. Teacher, we finished the sentence. Oh, okay. Hi, back. Ah, pues vamos. Nos vamos. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Thirty seconds. 
30 seconds. Bueno, let's start checking yours, right? While the others come. You had number one, right? You can, who can share the sentences? A volunteer to chair, Anna, okay, nice. Y no las iban corrigiendo. So sorry. O sea, we, we did it, but I did it with the pizarra, with Zoom. Uh, y no hicieron captura. Nope. Okay. We need a. <laughs> oh, sí. Vaya, let's see the, the number, okay, number five, no, number three, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Number three. Correct the sentence. Okay, in the number three is, Any of my children don't understand mathematics. Any of my children. Or my children don't understand any mathematics. Uh-huh, I study <laughs> I'm still trying to assimilate it. Or you can say, no, no, my children understand. Ajá, es que hicimos las dos opciones. We make the two options. Uh -huh. None of my children understand mathematics. Yeah. In the number four, we make the two options too. Any people, any people can participate in this event. It's only for pets. And no people participate no people can participate. No people can participate in this event. Uh -huh. Sí, fíjese que en esa sola es opción, la otra suena rara. ¿Verdad? Mm. Pero no people can participate. Is it the, the same sentence? No, deje el can en afirmative. Ah, can, can. Mm -hmm. No people, no people can, can participate. participate. Uh -huh. No people can. Yeah. What about number five? Number number five, we don't know anything about reptiles. Uh -huh. Or oh. we know nothing about uh -huh. reptiles. We know nothing about reptiles. Very good. Number six. Thank you, Alberto Anana. Okay, number six, group two. She couldn't answer any question in the test. Mm -hmm. number, seven, number seven, you never said anything about selling from house to house. Yeah. Number eight, they didn't answer any question I asked them. Excellent. Thank you, Anna. Thank you uh, in, the number, in the number eight, I say like an uh, option, uh -huh. uh, they didn't answer any question that I asked them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could be. Sure. Sure, sure, that's okay. Or you can say they answered no questions, right? If you want to use the other option. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Who are the people of group number three? Number nine, teacher. Mm -hmm. They won't go to the party tonight. They have got some studying to do. Mm -hmm. They won't go to the party. Okay. Or oh, what's the other option? They will go to no party. They will not do the party, yes. 
they will go to nobody. Aha, uh -huh, number 11. Um, there is some time. Okay. There is some time. There is some time for gossip. Let's get to work now. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Or there is no time for gossip. Let's go to work now. Okay. Or there isn't enough. No. Eh, quítele el no. There isn't time. Yeah, I say the first. One. There is no time. There is. there is no time. You tell me, you told me there isn't time. And then you told me there is no time. Right? Yeah. Okay, so you can use the two options. There is no time or there isn't any time yeah. for gossip. Mm -hmm. And what about the last one? I hate. I hate to break it through to you. We get pain tonight, nothing. Yeah, I hate to break it through to you. We won't get paid anything, ¿verdad? We won't, we won't get paid anything. Okay. Any questions here? No questions? I have no question, teacher. I have no question. No question. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Vamos a a ver. Um, hmm. Now, at this time, we have no energy, right? To continue. <laughs> Let's see. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elsa Cristina. Present. Felix. Present teacher. Y Grace Mitchell. Ivo Marcela. Present teacher. Jennifer. Present. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose, Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Here. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Claudia. Present teacher. And Mauricio Emilio. Good night, teacher. Good night. Hoy sí, a good night meeting. Okay. Good night. Yeah, yeah. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you good night, good night. <coughs> good night. Hi. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. See you. See you.